But we were curious coming to the ballpark. Who in the hell is this crazy guy, you know? You'll see him mumble a couple of words to the ball. And... He was an oddity, a real oddity. Nobody ever did what Fidrich did. Look at him, talking to that ball. What pitcher ever did? <laughs> Talk to a ball. I get a kick out of this guy. He's probably saying, come on, move that ball, move that ball. I didn't think he was going to talk to it. I thought he was going to eat it. <laughs> I'm not kidding you, because that's exactly where it was. That is not a member of the Detroit ground crew. That's starting pitcher Mark Fiedrich. You never saw this. You never saw a guy manicured as if it was his own personal ground crew. He's congratulating each player. Hey, hey, hey. Even on so-so plays. He did some cuckoo things, but the guy could pitch. That was the bottom line. All this other stuff wouldn't have mattered if he was getting his brains beat in. Another easy inning for the young right-hander, Mark Fidrich. As Fidrich made his way through the game, keeping a star-studded Yankees lineup at bay, Tiger Stadium and a national audience were captivated. Energy was building and building and building. The fans are cheering, let's go, Mark. Northborough was uh, like a ghost town yeah. downtown. You literally could hear the cheering. The windows are open. Yeah, I'm sure. You can hear the cheering from house to house. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Fans really getting a kick and reacting to Federicks. They've got to be in love with this young man, no question about it. I'll tell you, he has won this town. It was 50,000 in Tiger Stadium. I thought they were going to break it down. Can you imagine the hand Fidrich is going to receive in the top of the ninth inning? As the ninth inning began, Fidrich and the Tigers had a 5-1 to one lead. He got it! And the fans are standing for Fidrich. I still remember watching that from beginning to end. Every pitch you're on the edge of your seat. It's just unforgettable. Two down in the ninth inning. Yes. See, Look at Luke. I've seen a lot of ball games play, and I've caught a few. I don't think I've ever seen a pitcher this keyed up. In the I'm watching it like I don't know how the ending's going to be. You know? <laughs> Finish it up. The fans ready to explode. Here's your pitch. Ground ball should be the ball game. It's over. He knows he beat the Yankees. And the Tigers act like Fidrick has just won the seventh game of the World Series. He has. <laughs> He's won seven in a row. He is some kind of unbelievable young Mark Pinder. The crowd, I noticed, didn't leave. I said, they're not going to leave until he comes back out of the dugout. They were screaming, we want the bird, we want the bird, and I said, He's got to come back out here. The fans want him to come back. The fans are calling for him to come back. I said, Mark, you got to put that shirt back on, son. You've got something to do. I told him, I said, you're going to go up those stairs to tip your hat. He says, come on, you're going to make me do this. you got to come up with me. I said, they're not screaming, we want the bird and Rusty. They're screaming, we want the bird. <laughs> it was exhilarating. I am not kidding you. It was just so great. And here he comes. Here he comes. Oh, this is he loves him. <laughs> Look at that. Shaking the policeman's hand. Look at that. It's like this seismic wave of emotion. It's just this roar. And, and you can see he can barely stand upright. This kid is terrific. I've been in baseball 35 years. I have never in my life ever seen anything to equal this. That doesn't happen. We just don't do that. You know, the game-winning hit or the star of the game gets interviewed on the field, salutes the fans, and then you don't see him again. But for Mark Fidrich, you just couldn't get enough. <laughs>